the 19th century bore witness to the rise of numerous influential thinkers. One name, however, echoes profoundly through history: Karl Marx. Often dubbed the father of communism, Marx's ideas have left an indelible mark on political and economic thought. Born in 1818 in the Kingdom of Prussia, Marx was a philosopher, economist, historian, political theorist, and journalist. As he journeyed through life, he observed the vast disparities between the rich and the poor, the capital owners and the laborers. This observation became the bedrock of his later work. The Industrial Revolution had been transforming Europe. Machines replaced hands. Factories mushroomed and cities burgeoned, but with progress came a price. Many laborers were subject to harsh conditions, long hours, and meager wages. Marx saw this not as an incidental flaw, but as a fundamental issue with capitalism. Together with his close friend Frederick Engels, Marx penned the Communist Manifesto in 1848. Here they presented the world with a bold idea: the working class or the proletariat should rise, overthrow the bourgeoisie, the capital-owning class, and establish a classless society. At the heart of Marx's theory is the concept of historical materialism. He believed that society's progress through stages, each driven by conflicts between classes. As feudal lords and serfs gave way to bourgeoisie and proletariat, he predicted an inevitable clash and subsequent birth of a communist society. Marx continued to delve deeper into the intricacies of capitalism in his magnum opus, Das Kapital. It detailed the relationship between labor and capital. And how surplus value or profits are derived from the labor of workers, but are siphoned off by capitalists. This Marx believed was exploitation. But what exactly did Marx envision when he spoke of communism? He dreamed of a society where means of production, factories, farms, and offices, would be owned communally. There would be no state, no class divisions, and the fruits of labor would be shared among all. It's important to note, however, that Marx's vision of communism was theoretical. The real-world attempts at communism, like in the Soviet Union or China, took Marx's idea but added their own interpretations, often leading to outcomes Marx himself might not have endorsed. Critics argue that Marx's views oversimplified complex social dynamics. They believed that capitalism's adaptability and the potential for reforms make it more resilient and capable of addressing its shortcomings. Moreover, they point to the failures of 20th-century communist states as evidence against Marx's vision. Supporters, on the other hand, feel Marx accurately critiqued capitalism's flaws. They argue that many issues we see today, from income inequality to worker exploitation, were precisely the concerns Marx highlighted. Whether one agrees with him or not, Karl Marx's impact on modern thought is undeniable. His critiques and insights provide a lens through which many still view, analyze, and debate the world around us. So the next time you hear terms like class struggle or means of production, remember the bearded philosopher from Prussia who sparked a revolution not just in politics, but in the very way we think about society and economy.